going to Portland cause I'm a maker Heading to Portland to be a creator Creator, maker, originator Designer, founder, generator Going to Portland cause I'm a maker Heading to Portland to be a creator Creator, maker, originator Designer, founder, generator Portland is held together by a rich tapestry of tasty treats. The local food scene here is really innovative and experimental to the forefront of food thinking. I mean, the local restaurateurs go to great lengths to ensure that the produce they serve is fresh, organic, ethically sourced, locally produced. Totally, and there's a kick-ass food truck scene here, so some of those places have become institutions of their own. As usual, we've decided to come along and turn the industry on its head. So we've set up our own restaurant here in Portland that we think combines the best elements of the Portland dining experience. Minimum. Our food truck concept is called Food for Thought. We only serve food that promotes consciousness, awareness and, and mindfulness. Don, where the fuck are the potatoes? Coming chef, coming chef. Okay, they're still not in my palm. Yes chef. Dom, tater please, in my palm now. Yes, yeah, so one, you. Thank you. How are you going with the carrots? Carrots down. Okay, thank you very much. Um, yeah, we only serve produce that's been grown on the roof of this truck uh, from the seeds of locally grown veggies that we've gathered in the tires and the radiator as we're driving around Portland. Yeah, I mean, it's so local in fact that everything is done actually within uh, the walls of this here food truck. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we pride ourselves on having the most exclusive dining experience in Portland. So we only serve one customer at a time. You come here, you get the whole restaurant to yourself. Welcome to Food for Thought, the most exclusive dining experience in Portland. What can I get you for your entree? Um, I'll have the fish of the day. Fish of the day, one fish of the day. One fish of the day. Fish of the day, bro. Sweet. Fish of the day. So what you have here is a scallop scaled mashed potato snapper with olive eyes, uh, a basil tail, um, laid out on a garnish of greens and foraged lemons. When we serve the fish, we just like to make it feel like you're having an entire ocean experience, you know, like you're sitting on a beach and that fish is just washed up on the shore beside you. So we take it upon ourselves to spread a little bit of sand around the table uh, and then we like to make some noises of the ocean to give you a bit of an experiential fourth dimensional kind of dining experience. Excuse me, mom. Um, can you please just uh, move and swim between the flags? Thank you. Yeah, we're just gonna need, there's a bit of a riptide today. Yeah, we're gonna need you to stay between the flags. Bondi rescue on patrol, the helicopter flying over. Unexpected wave coming up on you. We all live in a three-dimensional reality that we're aware of, and normally when you go to a restaurant, you're only kind of, they're only dealing within those three dimensions, but there are four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 oh, dimensions. God, we, can go on. Um, we can go on the infinite number of dimensions. And so we just try to service as many of those dimensions as possible when you're dining at Food for Thought. It's the afternoon and the wind has picked up. The spray of the ocean. The spray the of the waves have got a little bit more choppy. Waves. You're a bit sunburned. You should have you should have put more sun cream on. But you made the right choice because now you have a great town. Oh no, someone's flicked their towel right near you. That's really annoying. We don't want you just to make it feel like you're at a beach. We want to make you feel like you feel at the beach. What would you like for a main? Um, the chicken. Chicken, please. Right, here we go. What we have here is a cauliflower mashed potato chicken with French fry feathers uh, and blueberry eyes on a bed of shaved carrots, nesting eggs of fingling potatoes. All organic, obviously. For those who have succumbed to an entirely plant-based diet, um, we find that they miss the killing and cruelty involved in eating mass-produced meat. Um, so we're able to let them experience that cruelty uh, in an, an extremely mindful way. And now what you need to do is you need to take responsibility for what you're about to eat. Be a mindful consumer because you're going to have to take the life of this chicken. Now, look straight into its blueberry eyes. And end its life. I want you to take its head clean off. Yeah. That was a beautiful thing. That was a be beautiful thing you just did there. So yeah, go to Portland. Portland's our favorite city in Canada. Sorry for turning the industry on its head. Sorry for turning the Portland industry on the Portland head. Because we'll turn any industry on its head. We'll keep doing that until we're dead. Because it's why we're here. 
to do the things we do. Portman food coming right at you from us.